One of the biggest challenges facing uh, providers in implementing health IT solutions, in my view, is the competing resources required to just practice medicine today. Um, you know, they're well-intentioned uh, deployments sometimes get distracted because of other priorities. And, uh, you know, there's so many competing priorities within the hospital systems, at the physician practice, that really just the where do we start and what do we do first, second, third um, is really an impediment to people progressing with what they really ultimately want to accomplish. Some of the steps that, that we find ourselves recommending for uh, overcoming some of the challenges with implementing health IT is really to try to have a, a crisp plan of where you want to go so that when competing priorities uh, do come up, you can set the, the stage for, okay, we can do this and we can accomplish something in the short term and move that to the next thing and the next thing. Um, I think at times um, people are too distracted with all the complexity that they're faced with. So to set a, a, a crisp plan, where do you want to go and what are the things you want to accomplish today that lead you to tomorrow can sometimes really uh, help you know, drive a project forward achieve the, the specific goal you're looking for, and then move on to, to the next project, which there's an endless stream of, of IT projects sometimes uh, that, that organizations have to, to uh, move forward with. Uh, providers um, are sometimes held back by their own um, you know, nervousness about what to do. So there's a lot of buzz and noise sometimes in the market about what the right path is for health IT uh, deployment. And I think sometimes folks are held back by what is the right thing to do. So what we usually recommend to uh, account for that is you know, a modular approach where you take steps toward an end goal and not have to you know, decide your entire strategy the first day of a project, but to evolve it solve business needs today, and then move to the next business need as it, as it comes up. So if you can do that and you know, start knocking off your business challenges, uh, you're able to really start moving and making progress. So the, uh, the specific investments that an organization should make that would, would return the most value to them, I think is, is dependent on what situation they're in. So, you know, in today's marketplace, things that are themes that we're seeing um, are around health, health information exchange and moving information from uh, different settings of care, investing in uh, EHRs and making sure those EHRs are connected not only to one another and to the acute care and ambulatory, but to the patient so the patient can participate and really establishing a platform that you can use for other purposes in the future. So uh, being able to, you know, identify your, your business need and then um, look at what the return is is really important but it is different for everybody so looking at it in your own from your own filter is really uh, is important and not to do things just because you think you should but to really evaluate what's important uh, for your organization.